Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee Tools. This is something that I've had in before. I'm just going to show you one that I use for an example. But uh, this light right here is one of the small studio lights that I sometimes use for uh, special situations where we need to light something up for a product. And what I use is one of these auto jumpers. It's charged up. It's fully charged as a matter of fact. And we just sort of turn it on and I can turn this light on like this and pow, you know, you can see it. <clears throat> it's, it's an LED, it's bright, but it adds a lot of uh, feature. And also it's portal because I just use the battery charger system for it. So it's a great item. Anyway, I also use it to jump my Jeep, which is has a uh, battery in it that's now been dead for years. But <laughs> this company got a hold of me and I just said, no, you know, we've got jumpers. I don't want to do this. And then they said, well, wait a minute now. This one is bigger, better, new, got new features. It's an improved product. You need to take a look at it. And I was like, well, if it has all that, send it over. So today we're going to take a look at, yes, we've had them in here before, but this is a new one. This is the uh, JF. I guess we'll call it the Ego. I can't pronounce that. I, why did they do that? <sighs> anyway, let's let's check it out. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So here's the box that comes in, and like I said, it's uh, that's a hard name to deal with. I wish they had uh, changed that to something else, but. Had it out this morning for a minute, just take a quick look at it. And the first thing I noticed was, of course, size-wise, it's it's pretty big, but and it's kind of heavy, so you know you got so you know you've got a quality item there. <laughs> but uh, on this side here, we've got a little flapper. We can open up. There's where we'll plug our jumpers in if we're going to jump a car, truck, whatever. We also have a really strong light. It's yeah, I think the light is actually stronger than it used to be on here now. The other thing we've got is that we get to this end, we've got another cap we can open up. And I sort of, I like sort of, you know, what they've got going on here. They've got an uh, output charger with the, uh, I guess we call it the uh, USB 3.0. That's the new style. Plus we have the old style USB 2.0. Uh, and we also have an output charge system here, which uh, goes, well, let me show you that. Which goes to one of these, which is the old cigarette lighter plug kit so again you can charge something up that uses a cigarette lighter plug the first thing you'll notice too is it's got a digital readout here now when you're charging this it'll give you a percentage of how much charge is in here of course you should never jump a car if you've got 20 percent or less than that left in here there's a couple of things about these that it, it recommended and i was surprised i didn't know this is saying technically you can charge or now not charge but uh, start 10 cars or trucks or 10 whatever yeah after you've started a car or a truck and you've jumped something you should let this sit for about three minutes to cool down before you say start a second car or another truck or anything like that so you should always leave at least three minutes or more to let the unit cool down because it is a lot of energy running out of this you know this little box kind of thing but the uh, also the USB is the 3.0 like I said so so the unit comes with the or new I'm still wrapped in the wrapper here. It comes with the new USB 3.0 uh, so that we can charge this up with this adapter. But the good thing, good news is, if you want to charge, say, your cell phone, and you know yourself, the new cell phones, the newer ones are going to have the USB 3.0 uh, to, you know, with the lightning plug, of course, to plug into, it's like an iPhone, something like that. So that's a good thing to have. It's 4,000 amp, wow, 65 watt power supply out here on this end. And it will, uh, it's, it has a fast charge mode to it. So this morning I plugged it in, it was at 85%. And after a couple of minutes I walked by, I took a quick look at it, it was at 100. I don't even know what happened. I didn't get to see it. Uh, the light here has uh, little touch switches here. So there's the power on. Comes with this big, thick manual which explains a lot of the different uh, activity that you can do with it. Now the, uh, let's see, button number two, LED, there. <sighs> okay, so it comes with a really strong uh, flashlight. These buttons are kind of weird. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't like them, but you know, some people will think they're the cat's meow, I guess. I don't really like this much. It's. It's one of those ones where if you tap it twice or something, there you go to strobe, 
you tap it again or something, it goes to slow strobe. <laughs> you tap it again two, two times or something, it shuts off. Yeah, uh, power two times, it will power up. You have to tap, you know, twice sort of thing. It's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's different. I've got the manual here. It's a really thick manual. In fact, it's so thick, I'm just checking to see how much of it is in English. And there is, yeah, that's a pretty good thick section of, uh, information on it but it's still it's like I say it's a really good item and what I really like with these like I said was this particular uh, lamp I have that I use is US, USB powered and so in order to use that I can run it off of one of these portably which is great around a studio because sometimes you want light just a certain place you know and it just it just helps me out that way but also if you're working on a car or something Again, you could put light at a certain spot and power it off of this with the USB on it. The uh, next thing we got to do is, I guess we're going to have to go out to the Jeep, get the hood open, put this on the uh, battery, and fire up the Jeep off of it. I'm sure it'll start the Jeep. I almost know it will. I'm, at least I think it will. Comes with a comes with a nice set of uh, cables again. Comes with a good, heavy, sturdy plug too, which I kind of like this idea because some of them were kind of hard to get in and out of the uh, the plugs. And this one here is pre-shaped with a square end, so you can see the flat ends here. Like you know, yeah, that definitely plugs into this, and you know that's where it's going to go. Also, uh, something they did do, which again I'm not sure about, but the the cables are the same length. I like the idea when they make one short, one long. But sometimes that can be a real headache, uh, you know, on certain vehicles or cars or trucks, you know, it can be a, a problem. So having the same length on both, I guess that, you know what, that's okay. I, I can live with that. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the Jeep. So let's go outside and see how the Jeep does with this thing. Okay, one dead Jeep. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to set this up. I'm not sure how this... Uh, works for powering up I believe okay, there's no spark so the tapper and see if it I don't think it's on oh maybe it is on I don't see a spark so Not even a spark? Okay, it's on. But I'm not seeing a spark. Why are we not seeing a spark? Let's crank the Jeep and just see if it's uh, actually working. I don't know. Now we have nothing. It's not working. It's uh, let's see. Okay, we've got her plugged in the way we're supposed to. The oh boy. Okay, it's on now. Let's try the Jeep now. Well, we're back in the garage, and we've got the unit with us. Uh, I think they should not have sent this to me. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. It it does boost. It does you know it does have some great features, but this uh, button control package they've got here is an absolute nightmare, and I hate it. Absolutely hate it. So uh, I'm not even going to recommend this thing today. Uh, it's unfortunate. I think this is probably. One of the few times, uh, in fact, a few times in the last couple of years, we've come up on something this bad, but this whole uh, button situation with tapping and trying to get things going and whatever, look at this. I mean, you just, I, you know, I give up, you know. 
Sorry there, uh, JF, whatever that name is. Uh, not only do you have a weird name, but I think your product stinks. So that's unfortunate. They sent it over to have a nice review today. And I would like to, uh, I'm going to send them an email today about it and just tell them how much we uh, don't like the uh, control package on this thing. The uh, button situation is absolutely horrible. Uh, this one here that I'm using here in the shop for the studio is a lot smaller. It obviously is not going to start 10 trucks or anything and it's really tiny. But it has a solid button here that you just press it once and you see the power is on. You know, and it will automatically shut itself off. If you don't use it after a few minutes, it just shuts down, and that's fine. It just it just works, you know. It's when you touch that button, and you see the blue lights come on. You know you have power, and you're ready to jump the car or whatever it is you're jumping. Uh, this one here, as you can see on the Jeep, I kept messing with the buttons, and I could not figure out when I had and when I did not have energy coming out of the system. The uh, flaky button thing with you know tap this twice and tap that twice to get something done is. Uh, it's not a cell phone, you know, it's just a, it should have had solid buttons or some other type of control package. I really dislike the product. And uh, this, uh, this here was fine. I like this plug and I like the jumpers. Uh, the idea of having the USB 3.0 is really, really good. That's a, that's a good step. And of course, supplying us with a, a cigarette lighter for running a spotlight or charging something off of a cigarette lighter plug, that kind of thing. That's great. And there's a lot of good features here, but unfortunately this button control package, uh, somebody needs to be uh, taken out in the field with a baseball bat and, and, you know, discuss it there as to, you know, how, how stupid is this. I guess if they, they probably have a cell phone and they tap their cell phone to use it all the time. I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. So we've got a draw to give some nice tools away today and we're just going to dump this back in the box. And I'm going to send a, uh, an email over to this guy, guy and uh, just let him know how much we did not like his product at all. So, send it in for review. There's your review. You know, uh, There will be a link in the description below where you can buy this thing if you want it. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Have fun with those buttons. <sighs> Let's get to the draw. Oh, what a... Phew. All right, we're back. The draw. Okay, let's, let's do the draw. Golly. Oh, this gets better by, by the minute. Okay, a bucket. A bucket. Uh, we had uh, several hundred emails come in for the uh, items, which I better go find them. Uh, ah, <laughs> they're here. The digitals. These are pretty cool. You, you know, they, they can be used other than just table saw. There's other applications that you can use them for. Uh, I was experimenting and just trying a couple of the, you know, uh, basic ones that are at Amazon. I thought, well, you know, we'll try these. I'll put links in the description below for both of these that uh, affiliates with the channel. Meantime, uh, there was a young fella that uh, named Stefan or Stefan that uh, is in Quebec. And uh, he asked me if his email was coming through to the contest or something, and we found it. So, Stefan, bonjour, ça va? You know, yeah, it's, you know, your, your email made it. <clears throat> yeah. I speak several languages, but uh, this is funny. I live in Texas, and I, my Spanish is, uh, is terrible. I really can't speak any Spanish at all, almost. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, Let's get this. Let's get this rolling. I uh, went to try to contact the company that uh, sent this uh, charger, this jumper, in today, and it will not allow response back through from where it came. So I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what to make of that. But uh, they're not going to be too pleased with me. In fact, the title of the uh, thumbnail today will probably just be, uh, you know, don't click on this or don't watch or something because uh, nobody needs to see what happened there. Um, Let's get, we got two, so we'll have two winners. That'll be cool. And then we're going to put something else up for draw. I can't imagine what that would be. And let's see if we can figure this one out. Oh, boy. I don't think we've had this guy in here before, but, or have we? Yes, we have. Yeah, he has, I think he has gotten something from us before, but Harry, over in uh, Greenville, uh, Ohio, you know who you are, man. Okay. <laughs> Harry, I'm going to send you uh, this one here, whatever, yeah, whichever one that was. Yeah, this is the, I think it was the fancier one of the two, actually, but 
I'm going to send you that, Harry. Congratulations. Greenville, Ohio. Hmm, interesting name. Now, let's see if we can't find another ticket in here. Okay, let's see what we got right There's a bent up ticket right here. And this one is... And again, I think this... Yeah, I'm not sure. This one sounds familiar too, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, Bill in Fishers, Indiana. You're getting the, the other one. So enjoy, Bill. <laughs> and thanks for entering. Thanks, Harry, for entering. I appreciate you guys uh, entering these contests because, like I said, it shows, it shows a little support and it lets us know that, you know, that it's kind of cool that we're giving some stuff away. And I'm going to get rid of these tickets and then we're going to start another uh, draw for next Thursday. And, okay. I hate to do this because this is really not the... Uh, not the item I usually like to give away. This one, it's heavy. You just saw it today. It would, it did start the Jeep, but uh, yeah, I actually thought we'd uh, have some more applications and use for this guy, but I'm really surprised and I'm very disappointed with that control package. So, uh, oh, also wanted to say hi to Linda up in Saskatchewan. Uh, there was just so many people that wrote in. Greg, I saw Greg in there. Greg, you didn't need this thing anyways. Don't worry about it, you know. And, <laughs> but, uh, we're going to do this one. And we're going to just call this, uh, let's see. You're going to send it you to enter to, for the draw. You send an email to, and stand over here like always. And, yeah. CT Rewards at gmx.com. Uh, one entry per household. The subject, uh, in the uh, subject line of the email, just put jumper. And I'll like again, jumper like that. And then in the body of the email, just your name and address as if you're doing a postal return letter or something like that. I want to keep it as fair as possible. And uh, in fact, uh, I just want it absolutely randomized so that whoever wins, wins, you know, and gets something out of here. Uh, this is, I don't even know what this is worth. I didn't look at the price on it. Uh, with the button feature the way it is, for me, uh, it's a nightmare and it's horrible. I don't like the machine, so I was like, eh, you know, it is what it is. I guess not everything that comes in will be wonderful and new. We've got new stuff oh, next week. Uh, Monday, I've got a 3D printer that we're going to be taking a look at. New one. Oh, yes. I'm not even sure. I don't know if it's been on the market yet or if it's prototyped. I believe it. I think it's on the market. So I think it's available. I hope it is because we're going to be showing it. And we're going to be doing some demonstration work with it. And it's it's a fascinating machine because it's 95% uh, pre-assembled in the box. Which I've got the box here. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I don't know what's... I can imagine it's got to be like three or four screws to put together or something and then I guess it's going to run so it'll be a almost a plug and play 3D printer which is cool. Uh, by a friend of mine uh, up there in Nova Scotia told me this morning uh, that uh, out of uh, by 2030 every household will probably have a 3D printer. Well think about that for a second. Hmm, you know, yeah. I've had one for a number of years now, and I am still floored by the things that it can do or what I can do with it. And some of the repairs, some of the parts I've made and replaced just all kinds of crazy things that, you know, something plastic and it breaks and you go, oh, wait a minute. I just go make another one on the 3D printer. Anyways, one item per, yeah, one per household. And next week on Thursday, we'll draw for the, uh, the car jumper and, uh, Whoever it is, man, you can have it. I don't want it. <laughs> Not around me. You know. Oh, I also want to thank the uh, fella. He knows who he is. <laughs> he knows who he is. I didn't see in the this week's draw. Uh, maybe his name was in there. This when you're looking at hundreds of names and columns, you you just pick a few off. And go, oh, I know that. And whatever, because. Uh, but uh, this is Kicking Horse Coffee. This is actually the second one that I think that he sent me and the other one I haven't touched it yet because it's real scary it's called the uh, something about 454 or something so it's like it must be some serious coffee but yeah you can still smell it in there actually here's a tip if you have to wear a mask you know for COVID or something yeah, store it in one of these bags and then when you get to the hospital or office or wherever you're going in you pull it out of this and put it on and it's like Oh man, that's, that's better than women's perfume. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, it's like, isn't it? 
<laughs> yes, we are crazy today. We've had a crazy, had a crazy week, and this really, that took the, that, that was it. <laughs> Finally had something in here that I really don't like, <laughs> but. Uh, me a Monday 3D printer and also have some new tools, do some, some other new stuff coming in, gadgets. Also have another laser, a different kind of laser and some laser accessories I think are, I was told were coming in. And I think we're gonna get another auto jumper in just because of uh, this situation here. I'm hoping to look at somebody else's and just maybe we can do some, not so much a comparison, but just, you know, look at one that has a button on it that just you push it and it works. Mm. Wow, thank you for watching Copy Tools this week. And uh, for those of you that pushed that button that said don't watch or whatever, yeah, this was it, you know, that's why. <laughs> I'm out of here, wow, over and out, shoo.